Hey guys, it's me Alex again and welcome to another video by AG Web Studios. The reason why I'm making this video is because I've recently switched to Qt EDE development environment uh, because of my friends that I recently started uh, working with. Uh, I've started some C++ game development. I'm uh, still beginning with it, but it's awesome. And we've decided after a long discussions to use SDL library which is called Simple Direct Media Library. For those who are watching this video, you most likely know what is it. For those who don't, just go and type SDL download. Uh, as you can see, some Simple Direct Media Layer. And you would download it if it's for a Visual Studio. You would download this one, and for other compilers and EDs, this one. Also, you have the Linux version here that I use on my tablet. Also here depends on your uh, processor so it doesn't matter you will download it extract it somewhere and stuff for those who know what is it then they're probably here to see how to configure it with Qt what you will do you will go and say file or project new file you will go non Qt project you will go plain C++ project and pick choose you will pick a directory I'm just gonna go and type make a new folder on my desktop I'm gonna call YouTube help YouTube QT tutorial I'm gonna select that folder and I'm gonna do that I'm gonna call it my project of awesomeness and I'm gonna click use as default project location and click next I'm just gonna click next as well and click finish and we have a uh, hello world file here just to test if it works let's run it yeah indeed it works but we are not here for C++ we're here to configure the SDL so you will move to your my project of awesomeness.pro file here and as you can see here are some configurations of stuff of the compiler config and stuff I'm gonna go to my previous project and copy two lines which are required to work for this to work. I'm gonna go back and paste it. I'm gonna explain it. So we have two lines. First one that includes the library of the SDL, so we can use the uh, library files from that folder, which which are these files. And in the other one we have include and SDL, which includes all the files. As you can see active audio, byte order, CD-ROM, config and stuff like that. So how to do this? Well I'm gonna include this into the video description uh, but how to navigate and see what's your uh, directory. So I've extracted the SDL folder to the local D so it's here and I'm gonna go and click SDL and I'm gonna go and click uh, lib and I'm gonna click up here you see, I'm gonna just mark this and click Control Copy or just Control uh, right click Copy and paste it here. Of course, you want all these backslashes to be front slashes, so we'll do this, and you will add this code to it, and you will add small L and SDL like this. Of course, this minus line is required same thing with include path you will do this put here you will go to your directory of SDL and you will double click include and then you will go to SDL folder you will copy this control C or right click copy and you will put it here but you will first need to use this so just use this like this and yeah or just cut it here, cut it there and of course we need to make all the backslashes front slashes that's a must in order for the ED to read the proper so yeah basically that's it you would save this I'm gonna close my old project and in order to see if this works actually we'll need part of the code I don't want to write the code right now I'm just gonna go 
to my previous project which is SDL game project and SDL and I'm gonna run the SDL project here and if it works it will run our test code let's see if it did oh, okay it's opened I'm gonna go to my main and copy here and close this one and go to main paste it here I'm gonna save it it's usually good that you do clean all save all and build all and then we're gonna go ahead and run it and it says yep it works so once again just make sure that your uh, project.pro file looks like this also I'm gonna do the one comment and type it for you so uh, okay I, can't, I actually can't do a comment here so I'm gonna do it right here so make sure to include the paths to the files in each new project project to you make so what I'm saying is this that whenever you make a new project the default profile will look like this so in order to avoid that you just include there might be an option in options here that I haven't checked to be honest but uh, it doesn't matter really there probably is is an option for that but uh, I haven't been uh, looking for that because I just include it so uh, maybe we find it version control nope analyzer nope designer nope actually wait uh, it seems that ED is a bit so yeah it's pretty much it you just include it to the profile make sure that directory is valid that it uh, points to the right directory otherwise it will get a ton of errors down there and also I will include the test code for SDL that you can test out if your uh, path is fine so yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope you liked it if you did please subscribe I will be posting soon a new C++ video lessons with my friends that we which I work with, with Peter and Nerius and some other guys that I work with. So please stay tuned, subscribe, and see you in another video. Bye, take care.